data is probably the most critical part of any investment management organization. They're anywhere from aggregating the data from benchmark uh, information to index information, security issuer, et cetera. Having all this data available and in a timely fashion and accurate data is, is absolutely essential for a uh, success of a firm and portfolio manager. Some of the challenges that we see with investment managers right now is really around the governance of the data and they struggle to uh, go ahead and, and perform these duties on a day-to-day -day basis to ensure that the data is correct. So when portfolio managers are looking and relying on this data to be accurate, they're depending on a validation process that happens before they even come into, into the office that day. And they're making points and, and decision points across, you know, <laughs> their, throughout their day to be able to go ahead and make decisions on that data. So if anything is out of place or inaccurate, that could throw off an entire portfolio strategy. So the criticality of the and the dependence on data is absolutely crucial in investment management today. And you can only see this becoming more and more prevalent. I mean, gone are the days where a portfolio manager would go out and say, like, I'm just gonna go ahead and look at their last quarterly statement or go ahead and look at uh, their latest news. Now it's looking at the actual data and be able to put it into a model to make a decision. We partner with leading data providers to ensure complete coverage across asset types and geography. We take a best of approach where some providers are better, for example, in US coverage, some are better in European. And so we, we actually mix and match and we take the best data from all the providers. This includes things like historical data and curves for risk and, al and, and analytics. So we have complete coverage. There's really quite a lot of data uh, and includes, by the way, benchmarks from many of the leading or most of the leading providers. And what we do is manage all of this. So we take in and we we pull again the best of each and then we manually on top of that fill in different holes because sometimes there's just data that's not available through the data providers and we will go get that and fill in the data. So our Charles River Data Service really provides a complete solution for all the complex and comprehensive data that's required. One of the points that Pat mentioned was about validation. We're also doing significant validation on the data. We have uh, uh, many tools where we automatically validate, but then we also have people looking at the data and providing this data management solution with the gold copy creation. One of the advantages of delivering Charles River Data Service as a SaaS solution is that if we do find problems, we fix it once centrally and all of our clients take advantage of that, uh, that new and improved data. This is also true if a client should find an issue in the field, we can fix that once and then all the clients benefit from that data. A further advantage of Charles River Data Service is our flexibility. So we know that different firms manage the different benchmarks and have different holdings, of course, and so we have the ability to overlay bespoke data or custom data from clients. We have the ability to configure specific benchmarks that a portfolio manager should want. This is an advantage over some of the closed systems out there, the black box systems, which really don't provide that flexibility. Uh, I think there's a couple of different drivers for this. The first, of course, is IT costs. Traditionally, when an uh, investment manager will select a system or if they'll go ahead even having to upgrade a system, it's a multi-month, you know, multi-resource process that takes a long time, a, you know, a long testing process, the integration costs and development uh, go on and on and on. And by going to a software as a service that really, it's kind of a shortcut really, and it kind of takes off that whole uh, support process off back off to the vendor. So e even though there might be an increased cost from the side of kind of outsourcing the technology or having someone else support the technology for you, it, can, it really shortens that cycle of being able to take advantage of new functions, uh, new uh, workflows inside the technology because the vendor is really doing the upgrade process for you. So as we see this kind of pervasive across the industry, just about every vendor that we know of, uh, if they don't have a SaaS solution in place, they're desperately trying to get there because all the clients want it. This will, it, it makes things so much faster and so much simpler on their side to be able to get it, things up and running on a much faster uh, scale.